Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinker's Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and in this video I had the wonderful opportunity of speaking with Philip von Holzendorf yesterday about some of the new frequencies that are now being available uh, on the Leila Q website and I we also covered uh, the five frequently asked questions that uh, that are coming up over and over again in the telegram chat now philip and i we when we start talking that we so many different things come up and so many questions uh that i have you know trying to get clarification because i'm just fascinated by this subject so it went the, the the conversation went really long and and you know thank you so much philip for taking the time with me but you know it got too long to be one big video so i thought this is what i would do which i i went ahead and split the video into two parts uh Part one is what you're watching right now. Uh, it's going to be the video uh, part where we talk about what are the new frequencies that just got uh, you know released on the website and a new one that's coming up in a couple of weeks. And also, really, what's really cool about our conversation uh, was that you know, hey, how's some of the newer frequencies that were just released last month doing? You know, what's the what's the reaction from customers? And, and uh, you know, it turned out to be a really great talk about you know just frequencies in general that are available at uh, at Layla Q. Uh, and then the second part, uh, which I'll also post, is going to be uh, the five frequently asked questions uh, that I pulled from just reading the, the chat. You know, I read every post. And so over the last few months, I've kind of just boiled it down to like there's five, you know, main topics that come up over and over again. And we started talking about those. And, and that's where, you know, it, the, the, the discussion got really in depth. And, and Philip provided a lot of really good clarifying information. So that's really a, a very... Uh, I think very valuable uh, user guide. You know, the, is the second part of the video as well. This first part is going to be the announcement, explain how, uh, what the new frequencies are, and so forth. And the second part, uh, let's talk about that. So, just real quick, uh, we did talk about the frequency frequently asked questions uh, we talked about mixing frequencies you know people want to know how many is too many you know and which ones go better to, together uh, and then we talked about cards versus capsules versus blocks because i see the question come up a lot where people are like well should i get it this one or should i get that one and and what's this one for and so that we covered that in depth also the whole, whole idea of using frequencies with blocks as well as uh, using quantum energy for overall health and wellness, you know, uh, that comes up all the time where people are, are basically coming into the chat and like, you know, I, you know, so and so has got this issue or I have this issue, you know, is this good for that? And, you know, so we really talked about that as well, just to try to clarify, you know, uh, what that's all about. And then the last one where we got kind of just got goofy uh, with me <laughs> was the whole idea of whole body charging or bo charging body parts, you know, putting yourself in the blocks, uh, which is something something that you know people have asked a lot about uh, and so we covered that so that's going to be in part two i really want to make sure you knew what those frequently asked questions were because it was it's just it was a great chat uh with philip to cover those uh those topics so uh without further ado let's go ahead and jump into part one and let's talk about the new frequencies uh that were just available on july 30 friday uh for uh for sale on the on the layla key website all right thank you very much Aloha, everyone, and welcome to another Tinker's Academy video, and I'm excited today. I'm with Philip uh, von Holzendorf, and we are going to chat about some new frequencies at the Layla Q website, uh, as well as answer some of the most frequently asked questions uh, on our Telegram uh, chat group. So, you know, come join us and, and learn about what's new, and let's see if we can hopefully maybe answer with some of the questions that you've had uh, most recently uh, with Layla Q. So before I jump into that, I'd like to go ahead and just read our disclaimer, or read uh, Philip's disclaimer, uh, which is neither Layla Q Quantum Tech nor the Tinker's Academy recommend or endorse any specific tests, physicians, procedures, opinions, or other information that may be mentioned in this video. Reliance on any information appearing and discussed in this video is solely at everyone's own risk. Statements made have not been evaluated by the EFSA or the FDA or any government derivatives thereof. Layla Quantum Tech products and, pro and, and products that Layla Quantum Tech may represent are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. All right. So, uh, Philip, I wanted to, well, actually, let me introduce Phil. Philip is uh, the owner operator of Layla, for those of you who don't know who he is. Um, and Layla Quantum Tech is, is one of the most amazing up and coming, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, companies uh, in this, in the, in the quantum energy space. So uh, Philip's the owner operator, but I just want to point out to everybody who may not notice this on the website, but Philip is one of six healers. So it's not just a, a one guy uh, coming up with some ideas, but it's a collaboration of some extremely experienced 
gifted and talented healers that that work worldwide, everywhere from Australia to Europe to America, uh, in terms of just you know uh, being outright and gifted talented healers on their own right with their own uh you know uh you know uh, systems and 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 uh, just businesses running and helping people for years and years and years and he, philip was not only able to pull these people together and create a healing uh network uh but what you experience with layla q i just want to point out is, is is a combination of these incredible gifted people from all different walks of life who've come together to really put together to, in my opinion, one of the, one of the most interesting companies in the quantum energy space. So, uh, Philip, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, Kay. I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I was excited when you told me that there's some new frequencies coming out, and and you know, of course, one of them is actually the one one of the ones I came up with. So I'm excited about that as well. So let's jump right into that. Uh, and for anyone, actually, for anyone that wants to know more about Philip, you know, we've got uh, tons of videos uh, on my channel. Uh, where we've talked about Philo's background and about Layla Q. Uh, and so this one is really more of a, of a user's guide uh, and where we're just going to basically, you know, talk about what the new stuff is and, and then base, answer some questions. So, um, yeah. So, hey, Philip. so you've got some brand new frequencies coming out that I'm pretty excited about. And so uh, I thought maybe you can just go ahead and introduce them. I've, uh, this is the list of all of the frequencies available on the website now, except for the happiness, right? But these highlighted ones are the new ones. So maybe if you want to go ahead and just, you know, like, hey, so what are these new ones? What do they do? And 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 what did uh, some of your testing, uh, you know, show that, you know, what was the results? Yep, sounds great. Yeah, so the LRG Relief Booster, I would rather have you talk about oh, it, but I'm going to do the intro and then you just add whatever I haven't covered because maybe you talk a little bit about what's in there and what you've used. And uh, again, for everybody here, so Kay is just amazing in finding some of these use cases where you could apply this technology and create a, a frequency that really helps in real life then versus taking tons of supplements and, and possibly other medication, right? So uh, he created this, and so I'm just telling you the story on, on how this happened. So he sent me the uh, the frequency, and then um, we actually added, or we 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 were um, burning it in the uh, second generation infinity block, um, so that the frequency is even more available. And then we tested, and then the very first test was actually. Um, a lady that has really, really bad allergies. And when she has allergies, she literally can't do anything and just needs to stay at home. So she got that card and that was like one of those uh, people that, you know, you, you, you show her a card and she's like, okay, so what's that now, right? That doesn't yeah. believe in energy and frequencies or any of that at all, like literally at all. And I was like, hey, could you just, you know, just keep it in your pocket, like maybe for an hour or so, and just let me know if it does anything. And it literally took just, I think, like 20 minutes, and it started that her nose started to free up. She felt a lot better. Her eyes um, were clearing, and she suddenly felt like she can, she can breathe again, and she felt a real relief with this. And so the the quintessence of that was that she actually asked me if she she could have this card <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so I, I i actually then gave her a card and then yeah. i actually asked her also a couple weeks later so okay so how did this progress did you know did you continue to have good results or was it just you know instant at first and then it went away and no and she said every time she's using the card she's feeling so much better and it has a real effect and on yeah she she was absolutely impressed actually by that that was a real like shift in her mind even because she had no clue that something like this would even exist could even work and she didn't believe it so that also means like you don't have to believe in it and for it to still work maybe it works better if you believe in it even better but it, it does work for those people too yeah that's great I'm really happy about that one because uh, I did a video, I don't know, a couple of months ago uh, where I was just tinkering in my in my lab. <laughs> um, and I don't know, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm, you know, I'm K-Owner and um, and I, I tinker around with with all these little, uh, you know, things. And so 
Uh, a booster is is when I take um, and I, I basically experiment with different uh, supplements and different uh, sometimes medications. I really try to stay away from pharma stuff. But the idea, though, is that there's different kinds of frequencies. And, and where Philip is like, you know, the expert is in etheric frequencies, right? Uh, and then, but there's molecular frequencies that come from physical substances. And then there's resonant frequencies that come from sound. And I haven't even, even gotten to that area yet. That's, that area right there is, is like a giant universe all by itself. I have yet to tinker and wait till I do, right? But so what I've been doing, and when you see the word booster, you know, what I do is I just, I just do a ton of research for weeks and weeks. I read up about every possible, uh, you know, natural substance. I try to do like 99.9% .9 natural substances, you know, because I'm really big on supplements. And I'm just like, okay, well, let's say, you know, like the testosterone booster, I put that one together, the woman's booster and so forth. But anyway, when you see the word booster, it means molecular frequencies from actual physical substances uh, that I've captured using the Layla uh, Quantum Tech uh, technology. And I've just been, created a frequency set uh, based on the best advice about what the combinations are. So for the allergy relief, I think there's like, I don't know, 12 or something, uh, 10 or 12 different substances in there. Uh, from all of the research that I did that said, hey, this is the absolute best stuff. You know, things like nettle, marshmallow root, you know. Um, and, and these are things that for eons people have been using to help relieve uh, symptoms of allergies, you know. Um, and I put them all together and I, and I created this frequency set. And I'm just thrilled uh, that someone found a, a benefit from it. So that's great. So anyway, that's one of the new ones uh, that came from uh, uh, some of the tinkering that I've been doing. And then so, but there are a couple more, right? That have come from uh, the Healer Network. The, the, yes. Two, so, yes. and by the way, for everybody that may wonder right now, so the Allergy Relief Booster, as well as the Forever Young Frequency that we're getting into now, are available on the website as of today. So they're they're live there. You can find them, read through them. And the Happiness one that is uh, listed here is not yet available. So that will probably take another two weeks. And um, it's actually um, an additional healer in our network that's not listed on the website yet because we were expanding that network. So we're having two more um, that we'll add over the next four weeks. Oh, and great. one of them actually created the happiness um, uh, frequency set, which I'll go into also a little bit. So starting with the forever young though so forever young was as a frequency set was created by sunya fisher and uh, i had done a intro video with her um, at some point and she talked for a couple minutes about that frequency which is actually one of her core competencies so so what does that mean so she's developed a few core areas that she's really really good at as a healer and this forever young theme is one that she's specialized on um and so it's it may be hard for some people to understand but so i think one concept that a lot of people and a lot of your listeners understand um, by now is that the body is originally designed to heal itself but then there's more to it that we don't we don't necessarily need to die when we're 70 or 80 years old that that's just it's it's basically a concept that's really what it is it's a concept and it's a belief and it's because it's been happening here uh, on earth like that you know recently over the last uh, few hundred years we're mirroring that to each other that's how roman for example would would explain it but you know the the soul our soul has these eternal and eternally young aspects um i mean there's also like old souls right that that's not really what i mean but there's something that is always rejuvenated um and young and and this frequency set makes that come out even more so that in every cell we are getting these signals of rejuvenation and the signals of, you know, we don't need to be old, become old in that sense. It's there's always this aspect of young that can shine through us and and through our body as well. 
And that's kind of what's getting activated there. That is the best way for me to describe it. Zunia could do it in a better way because it's really her field, but I hope that people can understand this. Yeah, and it, it works really well. So, so we tested it with many different people actually, and it works on multiple levels. So it really works on the, on the physical body as well as on the energetic bodies. And it's, it's something that's noticeable. And yeah, we felt that this is something that, yeah, could be a nice addition to the the portfolio of frequencies that we have here. Um, yeah, because there, there's nothing like that that we've created so far. So how would you, okay, so I know that the heal uh, frequency is the primal human healing frequency. And I believe you once described it as um, like, you know, primal meaning, uh, and I took it, I, my interpretation was that it was like the spark of life, you know, the spark um, that, you know, causes us to regenerate, right? Um, if that's true, and then there's this other one, Forever Young, is, is it like there's the, the, you know, the primal human healing frequency is that which causes us to regenerate, and then this Forever Young frequency is it would you say that that is the frequency that that um, that supports that and maintains that that energy once it's established or healed or you know created so like they they work really well together so right i mean would that be right that you would, yes these two would go really yes. well together yes oh okay yeah i I, th I think it's a really great way of looking at it and i i haven't even done that before so i'm just following and scanning that right now and and you're actually right. So they complement each other really well. Whereas the the nuances with the forever young is really that it it, it signals this youngness. I don't know if that's even a word, but you you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. That that is that is something that is not signaled by the by the heal frequency, which activates the inner healer and really the the self healing powers. Right. Um, this this works very well together but it's more focused on the on the actual aging process okay and the the belief system about the aging right because a lot of that actually has to do with belief like you know oh yeah most people would not believe how much that is actually an impact like it's literally um it's 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 quite massive uh even though that's really hard to understand uh, w with yeah. the brain but no, actually, I, you yeah. know, I, I know a lot of people that they just consider age a number and they're like in their 80s and they, you couldn't tell if you, you know, you just can't tell because they don't they don't think about themselves as old people. Whereas you, there are old people who think that they're old people and they certainly behave and look and die young, you know, in my mind. But yeah, OK, that's OK. So yes. that's, I'm just trying to put it in my head, like where that what that is. And OK, that makes a lot of sense. And just as a FYI to anyone that's new. Uh, the woman's booster and the men's booster have a molecular uh, frequency set for anti-aging that has uh, the frequency of supplements like uh, NNM, res resveratrol, car carnosine, and so forth. So, so I, that would also probably be something that would be a good combination as well. Okay, fascinating. Yes, and what I actually uh, think is that the forever young frequency goes really well with the use of C60. I don't want to talk too much about C60 right now, but that's, uh, I think, uh, an area where it could even get a little bit amplified or it would amplify each other. All right. Okay, that's a great idea. I didn't think of that. Okay. All right, cool. So, okay, so now happiness. No, wait, so Forever Young came from Sonia. Happiness came from a, a new healer that's going to be added to the network. So... I mean, obviously, the word happiness kind of connotates what it is, but could you elaborate on that? Like, like, what is this frequency? Like, what, what, what are people reporting uh, who are, you know, because all of these frequencies, right, get tested before they get put on the website. So only the good ones come out, by yes. the way. I have failures that Phillips never put on. <laughs> For those of you who <laughs> track, I have failures. I, I created video or frequency sets that never made the cut. So, you know, there's a process. <laughs> <laughs> and they go through this test phase and unless you know it gets a positive uh, feedback you know we just toss them and start over so so how how does how, how did happiness work out yeah so that's actually interesting because i 
I wondered myself why we actually started so late with developing this one because in the scheme of things, happiness is so important. And th there are different ways of looking at happiness. But for example, David Hawkins would describe happiness as the ultimate level you're in and that you that you represent basically when your consciousness is fully built out by the way so so happiness as a state that that's something to to be mindful of we we want to be happy also we are also here to be happy right where yeah there's this concept of yes you know life is here to to actually suffer through it um actually we are happiness um there's there's this aspect of happiness within us and we can we can feel that we can access that and we can ex expand that and yeah you know things may be difficult in the outer life and everything but that that doesn't necessarily need to impact this this river of happiness that flows through us right we we let that impact that river that that's what's happening and to actually bring that into real flow again and into uh, a, a more dominant position within our lives that is what this frequency does so that's again a frequency that it's it's not you know you take this card put it in your pocket for five minutes and you'll be the happiest person on earth for the rest of your life no it's one that actually helps you to get there and and work through stuff so it's again this little inner healer in your pocket that i've talked about before how these frequencies work that are created there it really if you have the intention that you you want to create more happiness in your life then that would be a fantastic card to work with um, and to support you that's how i can explain it and we'll have a video though at, at some point once once we uh, probably in the next three weeks or something like that i'll have a quick intro um with that specific healer and then she can also talk a little bit about it um, and go into a little bit more depth. Okay. All right. So, oh yeah. okay. Okay. So let me see if I got it right. Because, you know, you were talking in the chat group, uh, I believe last week about the inner peace frequency. And, and, and all of these frequencies are not like, uh, um, they're not the actual frequency, like all of a sudden I'm going to be happy. But these are enablers, right? These are things that these frequencies and the way the energy works, if I'm correct, right? Uh, let me know if I'm not. <laughs> but the way I interpret them is that they enable us to to allow ourselves to be happy because there's so many people out there that just don't feel like they should be happy, or there's so many people out there that can't that can't you know let themselves uh, feel inner peace because they're so you know they're, they're, they they their minds won't quiet enough to allow themselves so they are themselves they're, they're the worst enemy basically and we we all are like that right with all of our you know we're, we're all like you know like cliff i always calls us the monkey mind but you know it's true we are you know we're sort of 3d creatures and we kind of are detrimental to ourselves in multiple different ways and but these frequencies right they, they enable that to kind of like hey let that stuff go and and allow yourself to be happy allow yourself to find inner peace right is that kind of how, that's really how it yeah. works right so these aren't like here's a exactly yes, but more so here's something to help you find it, right? So it's more like yes, that is correct. Yeah, okay. But I want to still mention that you know most people, if they take the inner peace card, for example, they feel actually an instant change. So it's not that they that you you won't have an instant change or or something instant that you can feel or access better. So most people actually have that and can find that. But to find that on a deeper level and establish it in a way where we can, you know, recreate it and really have it be a part of our usual life and being, that is what that uh, is supposed to enable you to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, I, I got it. Like when you describe that, um, that concept, uh, you were describing it to somebody like how inner peace worked. And, and I just want to, I want to share that. Uh, that when I use inner peace, it's usually when I'm I'm in some kind of a, a conflict, um, you know, internal conflict. And it's really funny how when I'm in a conflict like that, I'm drawn to that. I'm, I'm literally drawn to that. I have different capsules. 
and I'm drawn to my inner peace capsule. It's kind of like my, just my intuition says, hey, use that one and I'll wear that one. And it's just amazing to me how um, it just seems like the blockages towards being able to work through the situation kind of go away. I'm able to kind of focus on it. And because I'm able to focus on it, I'm able to then center myself and then let go. You know, and that's kind of how I use inner peace. And then I also use heal uh, for the same way. But usually when I'm when I, when I have a physical issue, uh, I will use heal. And then I just it just always makes me feel better. It's really weird. I don't know how, if that's how you are, too. But to me, like, they're like these are like emotional or spiritual golf clubs. <laughs> I have one. of <laughs> Right. And, and it depends on how I feel or what I'm going through. But I'll just grab one. And but then I also have a, a daily everyday carry. I mean, I don't know if you have one, but if you have like this is my go to every day unless something's going on. And that's my one capsule that I'll always wear. This is funny. But yeah, I mean, I've really come to just totally, truly enjoy. Uh, and for those of you who haven't even tried one, I mean, I, I highly recommend just try one. Um, but these these frequencies really do are, are they're energetic frequencies. Uh, and they actually they actually manifest in reality, you know, in our 3D reality. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to trying out the happiness one. That sounds awesome. So um, let me ask you a yep. question. Um, you know, I was kind of going back. And for those of you uh, playing at home, um, back in October of 2020, Philip and I did the first uh, video nine months ago when the, when the website first came out. And we and, uh, and to explain, like, what the frequencies were, there was like 14 frequencies at the time. I'll put a, a link in the video description of this video. This was the first video about, uh, you know, asking Philip, hey, could you explain you know, what these frequencies do and what they are. And so now that there was 14 back then, but then, you know, and there's like 22 now with the three new ones. So I'm just wondering, like, since October till now, obviously you've added more frequencies. So maybe, you know, uh, what, you know, could you could just touch on like, so, hey, how are they going? You know, how are they doing? I mean, you, you've got the new weight loss one, uh, testosterone boosters, the DNL, uh, DNA one. And how are those coming along in terms of, uh, you know, feedback, you know, I just, I'm just, I'm always curious to see how now that they're out there and people are using them. I mean, what are you hearing and, and, and what are your, what are your experiences so far? And just, you know, let's start with, yeah. So, you know, like this one, especially, I think. Go ahead, pick a, pick a specific one. Well, that's definitely the DNA and cell support our, yet. Yeah. The DNA cells, yeah. Yeah, that's obviously the hottest topic of our generation. So how, let's start with that one. Yeah. It, yeah, we we've ha actually had a hard time in keeping up with production with this yeah, one no, just over the last out, right? few weeks. <laughs> yeah, and especially because we had this special um, where you could get four of those DNA and cell uh, protector cards for basically the price of one. And yeah, it's 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 going really well, and people have uh, amazing results with it. We actually had a few hundred uh, of those that were um you know purchased by several healers and that they would actually distribute it to their um to their people that they they work with um basically to help them and so we have we have a lot of feedback in regards to this specific card from a lot of people that can see and sense energy and, and whose job it is basically to help other people uh, with energy work. So that are, you know, I'm going beyond our network right now because, you know, they've tested that anyway, but <clears throat> really I'm talking about uh, other people here. And yeah, it, it, it gives people, so, so, you know, how can I explain this? Some of the, the, the people that can sense it on a physical level, they really feel that their cells feel stronger. And, you know, it's really hard for, you know, a normal person to feel, okay, what, what's going on with the DNA, right? So that, that is really a hard one to actually uh, see. So you need to have like a Roman to see that. Uh, but there, there's some of those healers, they said, and it was as if like a um like a golden light basically um was all around their whole cell and dna system as if there's like a layer of protection and not a layer of um, 
distance, right? It's not not like a wall where nothing gets through. Where no, where everything can still freely communicate and everything, but this protection layer to not let any of these detrimental frequencies in that are coming with, you know, those uh, substances that we don't mention here. Yeah, <laughs> but that everybody oh, knows we're talking okay. about. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, so I'm interested, you know, because I, I, I'm always coming from the, the the left field in terms of the science aspect of this, uh, you know, you know, uh, traditional science. But I'm just wondering, like, you know, I know that the initial testing of that frequency set uh, you had discovered. I know that you you told me the story of, of one person who uh, had been exposed to people who had, you know, went ahead and, and ex accepted the procedure uh, and that person had then had detrimental uh, female issues because of their exposure and that the, this frequency yeah. basically stopped that and made and brought her back to normal. Have that Has that been repeated now with other folks? Uh, you know, are more women now uh, using this and finding that they're going back to normal after exposure? Yes, that's you what have... we've been hearing. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, and it, but it, it's not only the ones yeah. that, that, uh, that were just exposed by uh, you know, like a physical exchange with some person that had gotten uh, the jab, but but really the ones also that indeed um, took it. You know, uh, got got the needle basically because that that's actually where where it gets worse. And we've we've been you know actively proactively testing that over a six month period, and we went as far as someone that had gotten the first one three and a half weeks before they were able to get uh, this frequency card. And then the frequency card was able to neutralize all of the uh, detrimental effects that were visible at that time already, because those three and a half weeks had done already damage. And but so we don't know anything beyond that, right? So what if you, you know, took it six weeks ago and now you're thinking about the frequency card it's most likely going to help you quite significantly, but will it be able to reverse uh, all of it? You know, I, I have no clue. We, we just don't know that. It's, that's not been tested. But, but with all those other people, yeah, those, those results have been extremely positive and things, you know, have regulated out. Yeah, no, that's, that's great to hear. Uh, I personally uh, added that frequency to my daily carry um, so that, because I'm, I'm more afraid of, of shed you know um you know shedders yeah because i'm not gonna ever take that stuff uh so but i'm around yeah. people who did and and i'm that's what i worry about but no that's great to hear i think that's what people are very interested in hearing so for those of you out there playing at home uh it's working uh and the anecdotal feedback has been positive so that's awesome so uh some of the other and that's how ones, i use it oh, too yeah yeah i think i think so that's how i use it too like <laughs> everybody know it. every time that's their daily carry. <laughs> Every time I go into town or, you know, went to the hairdresser the other day and when I go grocery shopping, that's when I wear it. You know, when when I'm just, you know, around the normal people I interact with that, you know, I don't need to worry about or I'm I'm at home in my office. I sometimes actually also use it just, you know, when I have the impulse to, but usually uh, really then when I when I go to town, yeah. then I, I always wear it. Yeah, when I'm around people, me too. Uh, okay, so uh, let's so okay, so some of you, uh, let's talk about a couple other new ones and then jump into the FAQs. Uh, obviously, the second biggest issue in our in our generation is weight loss. <laughs> it's like every every commercial on TV is like either take a drug or lose some weight, right? Uh, so how is that one coming along? Because I personally love that thing. It's just you know, it's just it's literally one of the first frequencies that I can physically feel. Because I literally physically don't want to eat. I just kind of like don't care about food. But I'm a foodie, so I don't carry that one around a lot because so I want to enjoy food. Uh, but I know that if when I carry that one, I literally like don't care. Like food's like inconsequential, which has been it's really strange for me as a foodie. But I don't care about food, so I kind of use that one sparingly. But I mean, are other people like? I mean, because I've seen some of the feedback, and the people are actually out there losing weight. I mean, what's what's been the other feedback that you're hearing? Yeah, it's uh, it's actually very very positive, and 
So I don't watch TV. I haven't watched TV in a very, very, very long time. So I don't know anything about any wage loss commercials, but I can <laughs> certainly relate to that, right? Because there's, I mean, I, 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 we figured, you know, when we wanted to do this test, so we, we tested this in a relatively small circle of maybe six people or so at first. And after we looked at it energetically and saw that it really worked and helped. But the thing with weight loss is that there's so many different reasons to why. And then there's so many different body types and character types for, for this specific one to work. And we wanted to make sure that we go through even more extensive testing and then we uh, came up, you know, with this broader test where also we invited um, people from the Telegram group. And you know, the interest was just big, really, really big. Every, you know, a lot of people uh, apparently had uh, issues with that or had an interest and needed some some support. And, and, and how glad also, right, because, you know, taking something, I mean, again, I don't know anything about uh, TV commercials anymore, but I would assume those are typically some chemicals that you take. And you know, from what I know from the past, it's it's usually something you, you take that it, it has some side effects also, and then you bounce back relatively quickly. Anyway, that may not be true for everything, so I don't want to make uh, presumptions. However, this this one works in in a little bit different way. So it 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 does require um, one's commitment. Um, an intention. Uh, so, you know, first, first and foremost, that intention. I think that is uh, that is a good one to have. If you have a little bit of commitment also, I think that that goes well. And then it'll really support you in, 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 in various ways. Even if you don't have that commitment and, and then it, intention, it'll visibly help you with reducing the craving. So you'll have less craving, but it will be amplified if you bring that intention and commitment with you. That's what we found across the board. The metabolism is actually stimulated uh, through this frequency as well, which is a nice added benefit to it. And then there are certain different issues sometimes to why we actually eat too much uh, or not are not able to you know, uh, transform the food we eat into readily available energy and then rather store it and, you know, just can't, can't lose weight. So there's some aspects that this frequency covers as well that, that helps with those things. And yes, the reports have been phenomenal across that, that field test, as well as now after we've launched it, a lot of people are very happy uh, with this card and you know say similar things that you said and 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 they 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 love to have something like that like it's almost as if they have a journey you know they may say okay for the next three weeks you know i'm going to yeah you know, tackle this yeah, you know? and then and then they yeah and then they use this as a tool um to get through this and it, it literally helps them to get through this and now it's kind of funny so agni is actually the one that had created this um this frequency and he created it for himself originally <laughs> so and then we actually started talking to him about it and we're like uh, hey you know and what do you think so we yeah. should maybe uh you know test this and all that that's how it came about and and he uh -huh. still uses it uh, today because right now he's actually for a for a whole three weeks, he's not eating anything. Um, wow. And uh, I think he needs another 10 days or something like that uh, is to go. But he's using this frequency to, you know, just, it's just easier. You know, he's not, you know, he, the, he has such a great mind and, and consciousness and all of that. And he could also do it without the frequency, obviously. But, hey, you know, if you can have a little help, um uh, in addition so he's using that that same frequency also so <laughs> yeah you know that's i you know because it works no i'm glad i'm talking to you about it because i i never thought about it that way I, you know because yeah you're right i mean if you want to do like a specific time like these three weeks i'm going to just try to do a fat or whatever right uh then that's the best time to pull that golf club out of your pack you know and 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 carry it around so it's like a 
uh, like a, a target specific frequency you use when you need it and want it and but not something you'd carry around all the time because it's going to ruin your ability to you know enjoy food which is my that was my point but you know hey but this is cool all right well that wraps up part one on on the new frequencies and we're going to go ahead and i'm going to put the link below to part two for the frequently asked questions i want to say a big mahalo and thank you very much to philip uh for you know for participating on this conversation i think it's really helpful to bring you know the guy uh onto a video and, and really just say hey you know what are these all about because there's no way i could use you know i find all of the words uh to kind of explain all these new frequencies and what they do so uh, go ahead and and if you you know when you have time and if you're interested in your user or customer of of layla q part two is where we're going to get into those faqs and the very first one is about frequencies and mixing and matching and we now we i know we touched a little bit about that in part one but we get a lot more in depth uh in part two on the frequently asked questions so thank you very much uh for listening and for those of you uh you know if you want to get a hold of us you can get a hold of philip at layla quantum tech or also in the in the quantum power group on telegram links below in, in the video description and if you need to get a hold of me or want to see what else i'm doing i have a blog uh in addition to this youtube channel and i'm over at tinkers.academy uh and you just put that in your url window and, and my blog pops up so that's who i am k elmer uh, i'm with the tinkers academy philip's with layla quantum tech thank you very much for watching this video and have an awesome day Aloha.